Uh, not not looking forward to another cold night, though. It is going to be a cold <laughs> night. Uh, temperatures today, this afternoon, didn't make it out of the 20s. Yeah. It yeah. felt like the teens mm. most of the day. But uh, if it's too cold for you, I think you'll like what's happening uh, toward the mm. end of the work week. What's happening now to our south, all of that moisture in the form of rain that arrived here yesterday is off to our southeast. The cold air that arrived here last night catching up to that moisture, and they're dealing with snow from parts of West Virginia through eastern Kentucky into parts of Tennessee. If you do have travel plans south along Interstate 65 over the next 12 to uh, maybe 24 hours, may run into a few delays. Closer to home, we're forecasting mainly clear skies overnight, and Future Track 13 shows some sunshine early tomorrow. But it also shows a weak weather system that will pass across the northern part of the state. We'll bring some clouds, maybe a flurry or two, but otherwise we're not forecasting much. We'll call it a mix of clouds and sun for your Wednesday forecast, and it will be another cold day. Beautiful view of Circle of Lights. Remember, you have until early January to enjoy Monument Circle all lit up. 23 right now in Indianapolis, a west-southwest wind at 9 miles per hour. Wind chills still running in the teens. Feels like 16 in Muncie, 13 in Lafayette, 16 in Shelbyville, and feels like 13 degrees in Indianapolis. Actual Air temperatures tonight will fall into the upper teens and low 20s for a cold start to your Wednesday. At times, more clouds and sunshine, but I also think we get a little more sun than what we had today. 23 at 8 a.m., 29 by noon. High temperatures in the low to mid 30s, but the 40s are back by Thursday afternoon, forecasting 40 degrees in Indianapolis and 41 in Bloomington and Columbus. A mix of sun and clouds in the Thursday forecast as well. Then we will track a disorganized weather system set to arrive on Friday. It will bring lots of cloud cover to the area Friday, and then by Friday afternoon, afternoon and evening, maybe a stray shower or two. Weather pattern still looks active but still disorganized as we head into the start of the weekend. We'll include the chance for a few showers that may mix with some snow Saturday night into early Sunday. A more organized storm system with enough cold air early next week brings us our best chance for a little bit of snow on Monday. We'll keep you updated on that. No snow tomorrow for us, 32. Not as cold Thursday, 40. A stray shower Friday and Saturday. Best chance for snow in this seven-day forecast. If you want some snow, we'll be on Monday of next week. There are people that do there want are. snow. I'm one of them. Right. Yes. <laughs> Very good. All right.